my channel if you're brand new to my channel my name is elizabeth my channel name is shytown girl and my favorite sidekick miss kalulu thump 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 right here next to me sitting on the floor because i have monopolized one side of the bed that she cannot get on and she's not very happy with me about that so as i start to move things around and she can get back up on the bed that will make her happy until then she's just gonna have to deal with it all righty Wow, we hit triple digits here today um, in the East Coast, in the Hudson Valley, in the state of New York City. Um, actually, it's not New York City, it's New York State. <sighs> okay, that was my first blooper. I'm not going to edit it out. I'm going to start this video all over again. So, bloopers! Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth, my channel name is Town Girl, and my favorite sidekick, Miss Kalulu, is right over here, thumping her giving her a little tap. She's upset with me because she can't get on the bed to watch me do my Dollar Tree haul because I have it scattered with everything that I found at Dollar Tree today. I hope everyone is doing well. All right, I am just going to jump right into it, get myself a little bit comfortable here, and let's rock and roll. So basically at the Dollar Tree right now, there's so much going on. I went into three different stores and three different stores had three different things. So I was pretty impressed with the amount of stuff that was hitting the sales floor. So let's get started with some, a few Halloween items. Now I mention all the time, you know, I don't like to buy stuff too ahead of the game, but when you're in places like Dollar Tree, if you don't get it when you see it, it's going to be gone when you go back. This is the very first time I've ever seen these before. I don't think I've ever seen a Dollar Tree carry these before, but oh my gosh, I jumped on these so quick. You get 16 in a package and they're miniature ornaments. Well, they're not super miniature. Let me give you a size here. Basically, they are one and one eighteenth of an inch. So they're three millimeters, uh, three centimeters is basically Let's just double check this. Yeah, one, that's correct. All right, so, and you get 16 in a box. Let me turn them around the other side here so I can get the glare off of the package. So you have a super sparkly, and then you have this pattern, which is more of like a matte finish. And then you have another super, super sparkly one. And this one's almost like a disco ball effect. And then you have an all shiny one. So you have three different types and then it's just duplicated all the way along. You also get the small little package of gold lace. It's like, um, I don't wanna say lace because it's really not a lace. It's very thin, it's very flimsy, and it's a pain in the butt. But it does come with it, you know, it's like for threading through these to use them as ornaments. I don't use it because I use hooks. So these are great if you're doing a miniature Halloween tree, which I do. I do a miniature Halloween tree and I have a couple little designs like this on my tree from years ago because that's so hard to find small stuff for Halloween trees. So that's why I pounced right away and I bet they'll be gone if I went back tomorrow. Also, they had black. So we have orange, we have black and it's the same kind of pattern. So let me just bring it up here again. So you have this type, which has like the stripes like a pumpkin. And then you go to this one that's like super, super shiny. And then you go to this one that's like all glitter. And it just repeats itself in both of them. You're gonna get 16 in each one. And the final color I found, oh, did my heart just go pitter pitter patter? Yes, two, two cutes, they had purple. This is my favorite color combination for Halloween. And these are my favorite colors. So I was so thrilled. Again, they're just basically ornaments. You can do whatever you want with them. Use them for decorative purposes. <clears throat> love them, love them, love them. So, so cute. Then I found this. And this is um wood, but it's very thin wood. This was uh, basically just in the Halloween section. Um, let me give you a measurement though. This is four inches by just about one and a half inches. And there it is. Now, mind you, 
they're not all going to be perfect because it's just, you know, it's wood, but it's that real super thin wood, okay? What you're seeing taped on there is just the skew, which this does pop off, but it also lights up. So let me pull the tab out. I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see this, but let's give it a try. I believe it's gonna light up all through here. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh wait, there we go. Okay, my bad. So, as you can tell, I'm glad you can see this. I was worried. You can tell it changes colors. Ooh. Isn't that adorable? How about something like this to put on your desk at work or your desk at home or in a child's room who is decorating for Halloween and you want it to be safe and you can use this as a night light or something. I love the fact it changes colors. You just have a little switch tab here on the bottom that shuts it off and this is what it looks like all the way around. Please keep in mind, you know, it's, it's, really, it's hollow so it's like nothing to it but I thought it was absolutely adorable. I did not see any other designs or patterns, so this was the only one that I grabbed. Bear with me while I stick this tab back in here because I don't like my batteries to be, you know, taking a charge if they don't need to be. Okay, also for Halloween, I have to lean forward here. Excuse me, I don't mean to be rude. Well, actually, this is more like for Thanksgiving. This is just decor, <clears throat> excuse me, and you get three different pieces that hang on this beautiful ribbon that's done in a very pretty bronzy color, and you get these three adorable little squares. Now, if you remember what I did with something similar to this for 4th of July, which didn't work out, but I do am using it for Labor Day. I am gonna take these off. Actually, let me show you right now what I do. I just take the tapes apart because they're just held on by glue gun. I pull the ribbon off. This is just me and how I roll. This is just something I do. Okay, if I wanna take the time to peel off the glue, I do. If not, no big deal. I ain't gonna lose sleep over it. Okay, now I'm decorating a three-tiered tray. These now become part of my three-tiered tray. I can use this all the way down, like on the first tray, second tray, third tray. I'll give you an idea about what I'm talking about. But that's something just me stepping outside that box again, always thinking like, what can I make from it? Don't get me wrong, hanging it on a wall, it's absolutely beautiful. But my sole purpose of getting it was because I was gonna do that. And I love it. It's absolutely adorable and I think it's gonna look great in a tiered tray. All right, some other Halloween things here. Let me gather some of these up together so I don't have to keep bending in front of you because I feel like I'm being rude and I'm really not trying to be. Anyone that knows me, I'm not like that. Well, I'm when prompted, I'm like that. <laughs> I can go from zero to bitch like that. Okay, here we go. So, mm, look at these. Now, these are basically like ceramic, porcelain, you know, just the, what do I wanna say? I get, not porcelain, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Look at these skulls. Are these too cute or what? Let me give you a measurement. This one measures two and three quarters by four inches. And basically you can fit a tea light in there or anything you wanna put in there. Isn't that pretty? Let me bring it in a little closer. See the gold spiders? And then here it is all the way around. That's not a crack. A lot of them had this in there because I think they're just trying to you know, achieve the skull effect. This just peels off. And there's your bottom because it is hollow. So that's the pink one. And then here is the black one. You know, I was also thinking too is if you don't want to put a tea light in here, why not use this for like an incense holder? Do they still make the incense that comes in like the shape of a cone? I haven't been to like a head shop or anything like that for a long time. Um, 
I don't even know if you call them that anymore. <laughs> Anyways, the little cone, they used to have incense sticks you would burn and then the cones. And this would be cool to put a cone right there. Just my opinion. So there was that one. They didn't have any other colors or I definitely would have grabbed them. I did come across and I think there's one more floating around here somewhere. Yep. Okay. All right. I thought these were pretty nifty. These measure, I'm gonna say three inches, but let me just double check. Actually, they're bigger than three inches. They are three and, hmm, three and a quarter. So you have this jar, which is, you know, it's really, actually, when you hold it up to the light, that looks more blue. Cause it looks black in the store, but it's not. Because you can see that this is black, so this is blue. So you have three and a half inches, but look at what they have in the front. This is like um, a metal, like a piece of metal. And it's just done on these cool ropes. So I found this one, and then you just put your tea light or whatever you'd like in there. And I found this one, which is done in the orange. Same concept, but this one has the black rope with the orange. This is the black rope with the blue. I I don't know. For me, I'm kind of liking this one more because this to me looks more Halloweenish. Is that a new word? Halloweenish? Um, than the blue, but I'm curious to see what that looks like lit up. <clears throat> so those were new. And then I found these. These are also, I believe, three inches. Just let me check. Three and a quarter. These are made of glass. Here is the first one. So obviously this is, um, yeah, it's because you can see through it. So when we light this candle up, all this is going to jump out at you. So if anyone wants me to do like tonight, I'll put these candles like all in a row and light them up. Do I have enough tea lights? Wait, don't hold me to that. I might have to go get some tea lights. Um, but if you want to see what they look like, let me know. So, <clears throat> or I'll have to do it individually. This one says trick or treat all the way around. Love it that they did it all the way around. So there's that one. The next one is pumpkins. And this one is also orange with the gold etching spider webs and pumpkins. Again, I love that they did it on the front and the back. Again, this is glass. This one here is so cool. Now this one, is it black or dark blue? This one is definitely black. Okay, so check this out. Halloween kitty, the ghosts. I'm anxious to see what this one's gonna look like. And then look at all this on here for a dollar. You know, you wanna get someone a cute little Halloween gift, a couple candle holders like this with a, a package of tea lights. You have a gift. Okay, last one here in these designs, purple. That's what I love about Halloween time because a lot of purple stuff comes out at Halloween time. So believe it or not, I really stock up with purple around Halloween and it's not even all Halloween items. It's just purple really comes out around this time of the year. So this was the last one I found and that's, you know, that to me looks like a sugar skull. I could be wrong. But to me, that's what it looked like. It looked more to me than a regular skull. It looks more like a sugar skull. But then look at these designs. And again, it's all the way around. And then there's your inside. Again, these are all glass, three and a half inches. So, so cute. Okay. Um, I saw these pens and I said, oh, Beth, drop something. Okay. So I said, you really don't need these but they were funny <laughs> and after the cashier showed me what they did i had to get them all right so here's the first one <clears throat> they're basically just called novelty pens and it's this little dude here and this is your pen and this is all squishy it's rubber but what's funny is and let me see if i'm going to be able to do it right so when you squeeze it his eyeball pops out <laughs> 
how old am I? <laughs> Anyways, let me give you a better version. So when you squeeze them, boink, his eyeball pops out. I mean, clearly it's decorative fun for kids. The other one I found is this one here. They both write in black ink. And then there was this guy. And when you squeeze them, boink, boink. <laughs> gotta love it, right? You just gotta love it. You have to smile. There's too much serious shit going on. You have to smile. <clears throat> All right. Um, I'm going to switch. No, I'm going to stay with Halloween decor. <clears throat> these are just adorable. These are too, too cute. All right. Let me show you these. These are glass jars with lids that measure three and a half inches and look at this. For those of you that are real big skull people, get into skulls. Here's the front and here is the back. Now, you've got this lid on top and it's a candle. I mean, how cool is that? And when you're done with the candle, you could definitely reuse this for something else. So I found this one and it almost looks like it's glow in the dark. I'm not sure if it is or not. I don't really smell too much of the candle, probably because it's more of like a novelty thing. Um, it just tells me it's three ounces of candle, but I don't get a scent. So I, I probably wouldn't bang too much buck on the scents. I think it's just more for the design. They also had one in orange. And that is what that one looks like. Also front and back. And then you've got the cap. And then, yeah, I'm really not smelling much, but you know, definitely something to check out. It's cool. And even if you just use them for decorative purposes or your three tier tray. Last but not least, another favorite, <gasps> purple. <laughs> That's like I said, this is time of year when all the purple stuff comes out. So I do tend to go a little loco, um, but I like them. So there's your candle portion again. I don't really smell much of anything. It could be my sniffer, but um, I don't think so. Again, I think it's just merely um, for decorative purposes. Okay, ha, ah, here we go. Yes, I have a few more Halloween-y thingies. I think, oh wait, hold on, I lied. Again, I apologize for sticking my head back and forth over there. I don't mean to be rude. Right, Clue? You're such a good girl. You're just sitting there looking at me like, Mom, you gonna clean the bed or what? Okay, so these are all made from plastic. These are all gonna measure the same, which is four inches. The first one that we have is this really pissed off looking dude here. So I believe it lights up. Yes, it does. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. Ooh, it lights up different colors. Okay, so you can see this really well. I'll hold it back. Oh, I love the purple. Look at the purple. Oh, that is awesome. You know what, Sharon, if you're watching, I bet you were gonna like these. Oh, look at that. All right, so there's that one. Wow, I really like that purple color. Then we have one that is a pumpkin. Let's check this one out. These are great to put if you, again, a nightlight on a child's table, a nightlight in a room, a decoration in a room, outside on your porch if you're worried about candles and flames because you have small children. So here's the pumpkin, and it looks like that one changes colors as well. Not sure how well you can tell. I'll put my hand back there, but purple, green, there, if you can see right there, you can see the colors that change. So really cool, and it's on the front and the back, so no matter what size, you know, if I was working in office, I'd put them, you know, buy some, well, I don't even know if you can put up anything anymore in an office, so scratch that. Last but not least, purple! <laughs> Here we go. Look at that. Oh, fancy schmancy. Let's check out this one. I'm going to have these little tabs all over my house. Ooh. 
this would be awesome for an outside Halloween party or an inside house. Oh, look at that. Um, yep, I just squirreled. It's so pretty though, right? Oh my goodness. Outside party decorations. Use these on the table and then give them away as gifts to your guests. So much. I really wanted to be like into party planning and stuff when I was younger because I'm one of those that if I have a party I'm doing, I go local. I mean, yeah, I go way over the top. That's just me. That's just how I roll, you know? All right, last but not least for Halloween, and then I'm moving on to some other things here. I'm Halloweened out now, and we still got plenty of time. These are five inches. These are glass, and I just thought they were so cute. This says creep it real and then it's got this spider there and it says the same thing on the other side i thought that was super super cute great wine glass right they also had this one that says <laughs> keep calm and carry a wand on a witch's hat with these bats also it says it on the front and the back I just thought they were so pretty, you know, and you can use these for decorative purposes as well. <clears throat> Last but not least, fantastic. You know, around here, because I'm in the valley, we do have bats at nighttime. And especially when I sit outside like 12 to two o'clock in the morning, I'm a night owl, so I'm outside that time of night. And um, we have these bats that come in from the trees and they're always hanging around the back of the house. They won't hurt me. I mean, they swoop down and give me a hello, but they're awesome to check out. They're really cool, and I'd love to get a photography session with the bats, you know, I'd like to film them, but I don't know if I can get enough light at nighttime without freaking them out. So I'll try it, though, if anyone's interested in seeing bats close up. Alrighty, I found some notebooks. My favorite kind, spiral round, hardcover, the sticky thing comes off the back. I'm happy. All right. Unicorns are my spiritual animal. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. There's your spiral bound. Your pages are all lined on the inside and then you get a little extra heart, I believe, on every single page. Too, too cute. And this does come off. The next one says, embrace your inner unicorn. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness, I love these kinds of books. I think what I like so much about these hardbound is you can like turn your paper over and I feel like you've always got something sturdy to write on. Each one of these is also lined and it has a little heart on every single page. The next one, it was like all about unicorns today. Ride a unicorn, swim with mermaids, and chase rainbows. Super, super pretty. Again, spiral bound. And this one has little hearts on the inside. There's your backside. Again, that comes off, so no big deal. Last but not least, I think this is my favorite one. Roll me in glitter and call me a unicorn. Ain't that the truth, man? I love this one. I think this is my favorite out of all of them. Um, it's a really pretty mint green. And again, there is your lined paper with your heart. Um, those were fresh out of a box. So I believe I got all four of the unicorn ones. I'm not 100% sure, but if there are more, I just did not see them. Okay, I then found Planters Cheese Balls. All right, Planters has been around forever and so has Cheese Balls. And I love them in these canisters because they just look cool. And I don't know, when I was a kid, I used to play the drums on them and stuff like that. Anyways, Planters Cheese Balls, it's back. Even the box says, it's back. All right, so these are 2.75 ounces. They are the original flavor Cheese Balls. Now. I was kind of like freaking out because I went to three different stores and three different stores had three different kinds of cheese balls. All right, so I found original flavor 
And then I found white cheddar. Never seen white cheddar cheese balls before. And I found nacho cheese. It's nacho cheese, nacho cheese. They are all the same weight, 2.75 ounces. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ah, expiration dates. November 24th of 2020. That's why they're at Dollar Tree. Hey, no big deal. You know what? They're sealed airtight. This one is September of 2020. This one is January of 2021. So I would highly suggest if you're concerned about your dates, your expiration dates, because I got three different ones with three different expiration dates, you definitely want to pay attention to that um, if that is a big concern for you. Expiration dates are a concern for me. Do I always follow them 100%? No, it depends on the product. I rely on my sniffer, my eyes, and my taste buds to tell me whether something's good or not. All right, I have to lean in one more time. Hopefully you guys won't get all upset because I am showing you stuff. All right, my goodness. I need just, I need a desk that I sit all the way around. All right, so I found some new little... I guess you could call them trinket dishes. You can call them anything you want. Let's get a measurement here. First of all, these are five inches in diameter all the way around. This one says, live happy. So, so pretty. You know, you put it on a desk, on a nightstand, on a dresser, earrings, necklaces, rings, or use it as a cup holder you know put your put a drink on there why not it's not going to go anywhere because there's this little lip put a candle on there you can do all kinds of things absolutely adorable they had another pattern and i actually took the paper dividers too because i didn't want them all getting banged up that's how i found them in the store they all have dividers between them then i found this one here that i thought was super cute and this one says odds and ends really pretty and here's your back side your sticker comes off obviously these are like ceramic the next one is really pretty it's i don't know it's kind of like a flower pattern but then there's like i don't know different designs but i thought that was cool you just want to check in the store because some of them have little chips and things like that you know it, it just depends on how you prefer to get yours and then i found one more in this color scheme and i thought that was pretty too because that's pretty much a lot of the colors i have in a few of the rooms here in the house so that was kind of cool and it also see right here this little rim so it does sit up off so if you were sitting in on something flat let me okay so if you were sitting in on something flat it's going to sit up some so there you go Alrighty, let's move on, shall we? Oh my goodness, this is going to be a long one. Um, our stores out here, for some reason, the ones I go to, all of a sudden stopped carrying the uh, English muffins, the hot dog buns. It was like, what the hell happened? Found out that the vendor wanted to check prices. Dollar Tree said, nope, can't afford it. See ya. So sent them sailing. So we haven't had anything for probably like a month and a half, and it sucks. But found a new brand that they are now carrying. Um, anyways, new in our area. This is Baker's Choice. It's an eight count package of hamburger buns. And the expiration date is August 13. And I have to say, they're nice and fresh. They're nice and squishy. So gonna be making um, either Sloppy Joes or hamburgers in the next day or so. So I thought that was a good idea. I then found this package, and I don't know if I'm saying this name right or not. Is it Eli's or Ellie's? And there's a package of bagels. Mmm, do you smell that clue? Yeah, that smells good. It's a package of 4.12 ounces. So you get four bagels, and these are the ones in plain. Does it have an expiration date on there? You know, I didn't even look in the store because I got so excited when I saw them. I'm not sure, but I won't waste camera time anymore. There's one on here somewhere, I'm sure. So that was new, and these are like super squishy too. 
I then picked up another package of this Colonia Parmesan cheese. This is not fake cheese, this is real cheese. This is a 2.5 ounce at my local grocery store. This exact bottle sells for $2.89. Dollar Tree, you can't beat it. Also picked up a package of canine carryouts, snausages. They're not really snausages, but they're like sausage links. And Kahlua likes to have one of these every now and then when she's being a good girl, like right now, just sitting there staring at me. Also, should I keep going? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I picked up, oh yeah. So I don't have stinky pits. I picked up some Lady Speed Stick brand name this one is the invisible dry 1.4 ounce in the shower fresh what I like about these oh good grief oh yeah smell <laughs> how many did it how many of you did it I just like the way they smell they smell nice um so I get those when I'm out it's handy it's convenient and it's got purple packaging that's what it's really all about I'm just kidding no I'm really not all right moving on I showed a package of these was it yesterday or the night before of these 0.5 ounce Coastal Bay hard candies well I saw grandpa and guess what the whole bag's gone and the other bag is gone so there was no bag left for me so I had to go get myself another bag today these are good until February 6th of 2022 not that they're gonna last that long but that's plenty of time and these trust me they're wonderful they really are good i wouldn't say that if i didn't mean it i found one new makeup item made by elf i had shown you some new elf makeup brushes in my last dollar tree haul this i thought would be perfect for me it has my name all over it it is a 0 0.11 ounce and it's for light skin tones, which I normally am, except for in the summertime, I, da I, I darken up. That's the Italian in me. This is a color correcting stick for dark circles. And that had my name all over it. Man, I've had dark circles forever under my eyes. I tell you, I go to bed tired, I wake up tired. Here's what it looks like. Never seen this product before. That's a full size product. It's not a little mini one. And it's basically saying that it helps to minimize and correct dark circles. So we shall check that out and see if I end up with no circles. Wouldn't that be lovely for a change? I also was in the craft department. Didn't really have a whole bunch of new craft stuff. I've seen a lot of people hauling the tie-dye um, in the crafter square section. Also the new glitters that are out. Um, didn't see any of that stuff, so that was kind of but hey, I found plenty of other things. All right, these were in the gardening section, as weird as it was, but they're by Floral Garden, so that's probably why. This is a 40 count package of 14 millimeter, millimeter? One more time. This is a 40 count package of pearls in a 14 millimeter bag. So you get 40 of these pearls. They already have the holes in there. And I had seen a video of someone making snowmen. And I said, I can do that. So that's why I bought these. The next one is a 12 millimeter pearl and you get 60 of those in there. And then the next size down is a 10 millimeter and you get 80 of those in there. So here are the three sizes. And I thought, well, there you've got your body, the middle, and then the head. I don't know, we'll see where I roll with that. All right, I did find a new little, of course I have to drop something else. Whee, I found some new wall decor. Now, I was bitching and moaning the other day how I can't stand when people, cashiers, take my stuff and go and fold it in half. It's like, please don't do that, please don't do that. So I, I just cut everybody off no matter where I go. I go, I have my own bag, just bring the stuff down. I'd like to pack my own stuff, please, thank you very much. Some people are okay with it, other people's give me a dirty look. Hey, it's my stuff, I can pack it any way I want, just leave me be, it's actually faster that way to get out of the store. Pick and steal, peel and stick, 
or pick and steal. Oh my God, my words. All right, these are by Main Street, but how cute are these? Look, oh my goodness, look at the little kitty corns. And then these little seashells pop off as well. So here's the front side. I just love their little faces. They're so happy and look at their little tails. Oh my gosh, right? Look at this little one. And then here is the other side. And let me make sure I put that the right way. Little Mermaid. Is that adorable or what? Oh my gosh, how cute. And I was thinking like on my wall, like that would probably, you know, blend in fairly well. Me thinking outside that box again. <laughs> also found some decorations for Thanksgiving slash fall, even Halloween. It could be anything. These are window clings and you get 17 and I purchased two of the exact same one because I liked them so much. So what you basically are going to get, you're going to get this cute scarecrow on a stick and then you have this I love fall pumpkin. All these leaves are removable as well. You have this cute little owl here. This says harvest joy, cutest pumpkin. And then you have that fox right there. And then right here, look at that. It's just so, so pretty. So I did get two. I don't see many designs this year. I'm not sure if it's just because they're still putting them out, but usually they have like tons of them. This was like the only one that I saw. So I did grab two because I did like them. This is something that they had out not all that long ago, um, a few months back, but not too far back. And um, I was kicking myself because I never got more. Well, I got a chance to get some more. So these are those ceramic little houses. And this is the one that says welcome. I do have this one currently on my fireplace. Um, and I light it all the time. And then the light comes through the little heart right here and then through these windows and then the window on each side. I just pop a tea light in there. Love it to pieces. So I did grab another one of these, but I snoozed on these two houses and I was really upset after the fact because every time I saw somebody that had them, I was like, oh, why didn't I get them? Well, I had another chance to get them, so I grabbed, nabbed, and ran. All right, so this is the second one. It's just so cute. They're so, so cute. And then here's what all the way around. You do have a vent on top, you know, to have that tea light breathing. And then the third one says home sweet home. Why they have the tea light on the side there, I'm not exactly sure. I mean, they could have ditched, I, it doesn't matter, who am I to say what? It's absolutely adorable. I think it's a super, super cute, just my opinion. All right, washi tapes. Who wants to see new washi tapes? Oh my goodness, I believe this is gonna be the last thing. And my Dollar Tree is complete. My Dollar Tree haul is complete. Holy cows, all right. I really hit the mother load with some new washi tapes. And I always like to take my washi tapes out to show all of you. Like, I don't have enough washi tape as it is. If you can see behind me, I have plenty. All right, now, this is the washi tape that is the Crafters Square one. So, I can't say if your store doesn't have a Crafters Square, you may not see this, but always keep your fingers crossed. You never know. I'm not sure best to describe this except I think it's just different color leaves. I think that's what that looks like to me but I just thought it was different and unique you know. I thought it was pretty cool so I grabbed that one. This one here was kind of cool. You know it, this is like you know more on the simple side but it's just different tones of blues and teals. To go all the way around. Oops. I've really been scoring washi tapes a lot lately. I know many of you say, how come I can't get washi tapes? I'm not sure. It's hit or miss with washi tapes. This one was just all kinds of pretty hearts. Just too, too cutes. 
wait till you see this one. Speaking of Sesame Street, Robber Ducky, you're the one. Squeak, squeak, you make that time lots of fun. Robber Ducky, you're the only one for me. Hoo, hoo, hee, hoo. Squeak, squeak. <laughs> I won't continue and kill you guys with my songs. Aren't they adorable? Look at the little rubber duckies. And they all got little faces like, you know, this guy's like, hey, back off. You know, so adorable. Too, too cute. All right. And I've got another one, which I want to say these are butterflies. Butterflies and flowers. But, oh, my gosh, they're such a pretty color. I grabbed two of them. Look at this. Aren't they beautiful? I love this. This is some very, very pretty washi tape. And you can see how much you get on a roll. So you get a pretty significant amount. Last but not least, I found this one. And these are zebras and shooting stars. And I'll show you what it looks like all the way around. Too cool, right? Yes! I did it! Did we do it, Clue? We did it. All right, everybody. That is my Dollar Tree haul. Happy hump day. So for all of you that can hump, hump, hump away. <laughs> I am off to, I don't even know. I'm so thirsty, it's not even funny. I'm going to have a big glass of my tea. And I have some friend mail that I need to open and a video to prepare. So... Thank you so much for all the new subscribers that have come my way. I hope you guys enjoy what you've been seeing. Always that box down below. If you got something to say, you need to get my attention somehow. Let me know what you're thinking, what you feel, what you, what you like, what you don't like. That's what the box is for. Until next time, everyone, have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you later. Bye for now.